Come on into my museum. If you'll allow me to change, please. who's in bed here. Really? Yeah. So, that is too I have, my, between my son and I, we have about 20 surfboards. Yeah. I Japanese motocross bike. This one. And uh, they're really rare. And Chris Carter sold me this one, and then Chris's got stolen. The other one got stolen. It was better than this. But I love this bike, and I think it may be, may be the nicest one in existence. And, uh, it's got the correct tires, which is really huge because you know you can you can you can uh, re replicate and you can make a lot of the original parts, but. Tires is kind of like getting to be the last frontier and a yeah. really good restoration to find the tires that would have come original on the bike. So I have a really good friend of mine, Kelly Owen, that is my helps me find tires and surprises me sometimes with gifts of tires and all that stuff. Great. I love that guy. That's a statement like no other. Well, I mean, somebody who was that good, and they always say, well, back in the no, day and stuff, I, I, it's I, like, yeah, no, he no. said. I'm going to ask Robert. Because he probably knows. Me. Yeah, that this was the only uh, motocross bike that actually used a, a similar to a fork. But as you can see, it's very proprietary design uh, because the axle mount is or the uh, pivot is up so high. But yes. Uh, hey, they were rumored to work pretty good. It was used right wow. here, right here on the cover sport. So it's not the same photo. It's actually a different photo. You see the different elbow angle and all that. But uh, he, uh, Steve McQueen, signed it and gave that picture to. Um, Edison died, and then they gave that to me. I right. well, actually didn't give it. I bought it but for a lot. Kind of cool. And that's uh, like a '61, and I don't even remember where I found it. But you notice that's the pipe cool. there? It's one of those bluey pipes. It's just cut off. My last story is mine. Is yours a steel tank Penton Robin or a uh, fiberglass steel tank? This bike here. The guy that uh, the guy that bought the bike. Bought it at Rustin's, which was the first shop that I worked at, and Rustin's uh, was the first dealership I worked at. And he bought this thing, and he came over, and Dan and I were just starting their business, and he had us modify it. We put our pipe on it. And this pipe here is our part number WB001. <laughs> so that's, a, that's our part number. But the bike, he only rode it once, about 60 miles in the desert, and parked it in the shed for the next 20-some years. And, that's Jody Nicholas who worked for me. That's Roger DeCoster. It's at the Laughing Trials, and he's judging Jody as he goes through this section here. <laughs> so, Jody worked for me up until a couple months ago. And then this is kind of cool because this this 
picture there. I got this from Claire Parker when Joe passed away. And Joe was the founder of Psycho World Magazine and the co-founder of Saddleback Park. And he had that painting done, and then he used it on the February 66 cover. It's kind of cool. Just a, a little crease in the tank that I got, and got stolen. So, question I got have to ask everybody, do you get yeah. to answer the question first? Uh -oh. Which bike out of all the bikes in the museum do you like the best? Mm -hmm. I know which one you're going to say. Robin? Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite bike in the museum? And then Ed, you need to be thinking about it too. Yeah, you know, I'm working on it right now. I don't know. Probably the, the CZ Twin Piper. Huh? Cool. Cool. Don't hear that a lot. Ed? Well, the YZ I can't do because, you know, it's too personal. Okay. It, you know, there's too much of a personal attachment for that to even stand on its own merit. Uh -huh. um, kind of leaning on that XR750. You were on the okay. phone. I said, when I die, I don't want to go to heaven. I want to go to Tom's garage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is better than heaven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.